Well, welcome everyone to this, our first uh, physically distant COVID-19 era baptism. It is so good to be with you. It is so good to be with the family. And it is so good to be with you, Brian and Stephanie and Adeline and Charlotte. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful day this is. Before we get into the baptism itself, we got to remember a little bit about what baptism is. Baptism is something that Jesus taught us to do. He commanded us to go out into the world and baptize people, making them into disciples and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And he did so because he knew that baptism, he instituted baptism as part of the new covenant for his people. The covenant that was founded on his love and sacrifice on the cross. In the waters of baptism, we see our sins being washed away through the blood of Jesus Christ. And in the waters of baptism, we are reminded of how God brought the people of Israel through the waters of the Red Sea onto dry ground and provided them salvation from the uh, Pharaoh and from his armies. In the waters of baptism, we see God rescuing, believing Noah from the flood and saving him. And in baptism, we see God sealing his children as his own. It's not something that we earn. We don't earn baptism. It's not something that we can achieve. It is something that is given to us freely through Jesus Christ alone. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray that you will never destroy us in our sin as with the flood, but save us as you saved believing Noah and his family, and spare us as you spared the Israelites who walked safely through the sea. We pray that Christ, who went down into the Jordan and came up to receive the Spirit, who sank deep into death and was raised up Lord of life, will always keep us and our little ones in the grip of his hand. We pray, O oh Holy Father, that your spirit will, will separate us from sin and openly mark us with a faith that can stand the light of day and endure the dark of night. Prepare us now, O oh Lord, to respond with glad hope to your promises so that we and all entrusted to our care may drink deeply from the well of living water, we pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, Brian and Stephanie, since you have presented Charlotte for holy baptism, you are asked to answer the following questions before God and his people. First, do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, accept the promises of God, and affirm the truth of the Christian faith, which is proclaimed in the Bible and confessed in this Church of Christ? And second, do you believe that your children, though sinful by nature, are received by God in Christ as members of his covenant and therefore ought to be baptized? And third, do you promise in reliance on the Holy Spirit and with the help of the Christian community to do all in your power to instruct these children in the faith and to lead them by your example into the life of Christian discipleship. If you do, please respond saying, we do God helping us. We do God helping us. Wonderful. Do you, the people of the Lord here represented by the family, do you promise to receive these children in love, pray for them, help instruct them in the faith, and encourage and sustain them in the fellowship of believers? 
We do. We do. God, God helping, helping us. us. Wonderful. Wonderful. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Now if you will take water and follow along as I say the words of baptism, we will baptize Charlotte today. Charlotte, Beth, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good girl. Let us pray. Lord our God, forever faithful to your promises, we thank you for assuring us again that you will forgive us and receive us as children in Christ. Grant wisdom and love to Brian and Stephanie and to us all as we carry out the vows we have just made. We pray that you will govern these children by your spirit and guide them throughout their lives. Help them see your fatherly goodness, which surrounds us all, and enable them to respond in faith to Jesus Christ, our chief teacher, eternal king, and only high priest. Give them strength to fight sin and endure trials, and when Christ returns, let them celebrate with all the people of God your greatness and goodness forever in the joy of your new creation. Amen. Amen. Well, as always, we have a, a couple of gifts that we want to uh, give you. Um, one is not here and one is. Um, one is a certificate of baptism and I asked our clerk to make it too late in the week and, and so he didn't get a chance to do that. But it's coming. So you will get a certificate of baptism. But also, as always, we recognize that our lives are really a faith journey. And so at our church, we love to give out faith journey boxes, which are uh, these beautiful boxes that um, give us the opportunity to place within the mementos of our faith journey. And so this, this box is hopefully an heirloom to go with Charlotte for her whole life to help her uh, and reminder of how God is walking her through her faith journey. And so here is the beautiful box for Charlotte. So this is a long-eared owl, and it says Charlotte right there. And it says all around the outside, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. What a beautiful, beautiful verse that is for these days, when things can seem so dark, and yet our God is good. Would you mind holding this for your sister? Yeah? Yeah, your dad can hold it? That's good. What a blessing it is. I understand that there is perhaps uh, something special coming. I would invite the special guest participants to come forward. Wonderful. Whenever you're ready. When I think about the cross, when I think of Jesus, I'm reminded of his love, love that never leaves me. Who am I that he should die? 
thank you so much for joining us for this baptism. Uh, I'm going to engage in some physically distant snacking. So uh, please uh, be blessed and we will talk to you soon.